To Hooper, that's the USS Indianapolis. You want Indianapolis? What happened? What did happen? That is arguably the best scene in Jaws, not only because of the script and the acting, but because it's based on a true story. And that true story is part of why oceanic white tips have sometimes made the list of the most dangerous sharks. In fact, Jacques Cousteau even listed them as the most dangerous shark in the ocean. But why? And is it fair? Being a shark hugger, I'm going to tell you the side of the story that you probably haven't heard. I'm Skylar Thomas, Let's start this Shark Minute now. When we hear stories about sharks killing shipwrecked sailors, I think people sometimes envision perfectly healthy humans jumping into a pristine pool of clear water, and the sharks were just waiting around like they had nothing better to do except to be evil. If you read any of the books about the USS Indianapolis incident, you'll find out that it's a much more complicated story. The ship was torpedoed Sunday night, and the sharks didn't start biting people until Tuesday morning. 300 men died before they even hit the water, which means that the ocean was filling with dead bodies, burnt flesh, and blood. One could actually argue that it would be rather strange for the sharks not to show up and investigate the panicked distress signals that are going through the water, which sharks, as we know, are quite good at picking up. I never said sharks aren't dangerous. I'm just saying, maybe it's not so weird that something that was put on this planet for the purpose of cleaning the ocean showed up after a couple of days and started eating things that were already dead and dying. Easy for me to say, right? I mean, it's not like I jumped in the ocean with oceanic white tips. Or did I? Here's a couple of clips in which I should have died. Right there, right there, right there I should have died for sure. Definitely right there, there, there. In fact, the entire time that I was in the water with these sharks, I should have died because I don't stand a chance against them. And I hate to burst your bubble, but neither do you. So stop asking why sharks bite us and start asking why they don't bite us more often. Yeah. <laughs>